Let's talk about some of the features of the Husqvarna TS 248 XD riding lawnmower. I'm a big fan of zero turns, but if I'm gonna get stuck on a steering wheel rider, this is the machine that I wanna land on. We're talking a heavy duty fabricated deck powered by a Kawasaki FR691V engine, a hydrostatic transmission, and a limited slip rear differential. All these things that add up to a mower that's designed to handle a large yard in Whatcom County. The deck, this is one thing that really sets it apart from its competition. We're used to seeing lawnmower decks that are just stamped out. Chunk, 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 chunk. And that's the weak spot on many of these mowers. Many of these riding mowers, they die because the decks are garbage. Husqvarna took their time and made a quality mower deck, greasable spindles, heavy gauge steel, really just a well-cutting, well-designed mower deck. Hydrostatic transmission, everybody has hydrostatic transmission. Well, yes, you need and you want hydrostatic transmission. Why do you want hydrostatic transmission? It's this simple, when I wanna go forward, I push this forward pedal, boom, the faster I push, just like my car, further I push, the faster I go. And then I move my foot over to the right and my reverse pedal is right here, boom. Instant forward to reverse, back and forth between the two directions. Kawasaki engine, we've gotta be powered by a Kawasaki engine. If I'm buying a wheeled piece of equipment, if I'm buying a rider or a zero turn, it's gonna have a Kawasaki engine on it. Durable, long lasting, just a reliable, powerful engine, easy to maintain, air filter, easy to get to, oil filter, hanging right on the side, easy to get to, buy a Kawasaki. Electric PTO clutch, what does that mean? That's this red button right here, what does that mean? That means when I pull this button up, the blades engage. Okay, cool, the blades engage. Why not just use the lever setup? A PTO clutch allows for that belt to always be under tension. So this belt that's running from the engine to the mower deck is always tight. All I am doing is engaging it at the engine. It's not a sim uh, over center idler arm like a lot of machines have. When you have a lever, that belt is slack, it's loose, and I uh, engage the blades. The belt slips a little every time I engage the blades, therefore wearing the belt out faster. So electric PTO clutch, definitely something to look for. Husqvarna has a reverse mow operation. What does that mean? Hey, safety wise, there's been some terrible accidents over the years where people have backed over things they shouldn't have backed over. I don't wanna get into the, all the, the nastiness of it, but bad things have happened. So Husqvarna has allowed you to, it defaults to safe, where as soon as I put it in reverse, if the blades are on, it's gonna shut off, but I can turn this key back one notch and it will allow me to back up and mow. So it's now you're taking that mental note to say, I'm gonna be aware of my surroundings and I'm gonna pay attention when I back up. It is a good thing. And to have this reverse mow ability is huge. There's plenty of brands out there that don't have that. And so every time somebody goes to back up, make a turnaround in their lawn, they're having to shut off the blades. That's hard on belts, that's hard on clutches. It's just a pain in the butt. So thank you Husqvarna for doing that. A comfortable high back seat, really just, just good back support. It's got some open in the back, so a little bit of airflow. Maybe I don't get too sweaty as I'm sitting out on this mower on a hot summer day. Lots more I could tell you. Stop by Carl's Mower and Saw and we'll go over this full machine. I'll tell you everything you need to know to get the most out of it, how to enjoy this mower on your property. See you soon at Carl's Mower.